In this video, our people will be talking about PE moving to Steam. When it moves to Steam, how would it do on Steam, like competing with the games like The Isle, The Beast of Bermuda, and Path of Titans? How the game would generate um, revenue on Steam, and what would happen to um, the Roblox version? First of all, we're going to talk about how, when it moves to Steam. When it moves to Steam. Pretty much, um, it would move to Steam when the Roblox version would be quote unquote finished. However, you, whatever you dis, um, like define finish as it. But I think when the game would be finished, it'd be when most creatures are crucial and wanted in the game are added. Say like T-Rex, Enki, like all the creatures, you get, like all the creatures that is necessary. Not like copy and paste creatures like Garbosaurus, Torbosaurus, Torbo, and like that's that's Pleiotosaurus, however you state them. Not like those. Not like the copy and paste, like no, like, but like the important unique dinosaurs. So like, so when like stuff like Anki, um, Anki, Edmon, those are unique dinosaurs that are added in the game. And the features, like possibly all the features that they want. All the features that the game needs and want that will make the game better. That's that is when I think the game will be quote unquote finished. And probably when they have generated enough re revenue to where they could start. And I think so it's really dependent on the revenue and when the game finishes. So say the game like flops before the game is finished, then we won't have a Steam version. So that's pretty much when the game moves to Steam. We're gonna talk about how it would how it would do if it moves to Steam. As we know, we there's other bigger dinosaur games like um, the Isle, Isle of Titans, and um, Beast of Bermuda. I'm also gonna integrate the revenue part into this part too, but pretty much how Prior Extinction on Steam would be free, making um Prior Extinction a game coming from Roblox and has that has zero name, making a game like to like twenty dollars or ten dollars like the Isles, it wouldn't make sense. It also wouldn't make sense because this game has zero background. Because this game is not popular outside of not even on Roblox is the game popular. The game is quite small. So us as moving onto Steam would and making the game cost like ten dollars, twenty dollars, like the other um Steam dinosaur game, it wouldn't be the smartest thing to do. Cause we have no background so the game would be free how would the game generate um how would the game generate revenue there will be uh, um bundles of creatures there won't be any fictional dinosaurs there won't be any cero no dino no amphi no senti no you, you get the idea there won't be none of that pretty much the game will have bundles of creatures you know how how Path of titans you have to i think I don't know how it works, but I, you have to like buy, like after you buy the game, I think you have to buy um like dinosaurs. Oh no, that is on that's for the mobile version. There's a mobile. That's not got off track, but there's a mobile. My assassins. The game is free, but you also you have to buy um like the dinosaurs individually, which is pretty weird. But I think like the the PC version, you buy the game, get everything free. But there would be free stuff. Let's don't worry. There will be free stuff. Um, there have been talks about having the Hell Creek formation being free. Like, you know, Rex, Trike, Ankylosaurus, Apache, Uteraptor. That formation, the Hell Creek formation, that would be free. But say, like, the Morris, um, Morris, Mora, okay, Morris, I can't say it. The Morris and Mora, more Rasen, that's not how you say it, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. That <coughs> formation would cost uh five to fifteen dollars. No, don't this is what um talks talks about um like how the game would be um generate revenue. That's what they talked about. It would the game pass not the game pass, the bundle, the formation, the Morrison formation, it would cost say fifteen to fifty five to fifteen dollars. But I don't think they will say like make Stego behind 
up, they wouldn't. I don't think they would put Stego behind the paywall. Even though Stego is a part of the more recent um formation, I don't think they would make Stego cost money. But they might cause it is in that formation that would cost money. More rest, more you get it. But yeah, that would pretty much how the game would generate revenue and how it be how it would do on Steam. Also, so yeah. Next part. What would happen to the Roblox version? I've seen people cry about how the game is oh the game is coming down for game passes. The it would like common sense so why would they close the robots version for no reason like they need to still generate revenue that's where the robots version comes in <laughs> unless you unless they like do a fundraiser and like close the robot that would happen say like if they were supposed to close the robots version and say they run out of revenue funds for the steam version they would probably like do a fundraiser because upcoming games they sometimes do fundraisers to like help with the development but people don't really trust those because there be multiple cases where the fundraiser turns out to be a scam and they release the game and the game is just like bad well no the roblox version will still be open the game will be finished and if your game passes it won't transfer to the steam version because one there won't be any fictional dinosaurs and second that isn't possible you can't you can't transfer game passes from roblox to like say uh, steam it's not it's, it's a completely different engine so the robots version will be completely fine it will it will be still open and very finished and polished and content there probably wouldn't be any more updates because as i said the game is finished they, they won't be working on two separate games <laughs> so that's pretty much what would happen to the robots version Next part, what would be the difference between the Roblox version and the Steam version? Roblox is bad. Roblox is a very bad platform if you want to make a high quality game, like say Pro Extinction. Roblox is made, is made for like simulators and really low effort games like simulators. That's why you're always like seeing so many bugs. The performance, Roblox, it's just not made for games like Pro Extinction Revamp. Retro, Retro is it looks terrible. Like that's why it's on Retro. That's is why that's why it can work on Roblox. Because Retro isn't really a high quality game. But Revamp, high quality models, all these scripts, cause the game is heavily scripted. Roblox isn't made for those type these type of games. That are like heavily scripted and stuff, high quality. It's made for um simulators. So that's why the performance, performance, ping, all those server pings, all like robust issues, it's all robust fault. Because this robust is a bad platform for high quality games. So this is why that's it, this is pretty much the reason why the game wants to move to Steam. So we can do more stuff. Cause right now we're very limited on Roblox because Roblox isn't made for heavily scripted game games. But on Steam, the game would be so much better. Performance-wise, script scripting-wise, bugs, bugged, bugs, wise. Cause sometimes the bugs on PE is all robot song. Cause you're like say the chat bug, where like the, the chat does completely doesn't work. You can't use the chat and the chat isn't in the server. So you have to join an entire different new server to get a chat. That is Roblox's fault. That is why they plan to make a custom chat. If you use the default chat, there might be a chance where it just won't work. So that's why some games, they make a custom chat. So some bugs, we have to wait on Roblox to fix them. Instead of being able to fix them ourselves. So on Steam, say like some bugs, that would be the Roblox faults. It would be the game's fault and can, they can just fix the bug. So performance, performance, bugs, everything will be just be better. Ping. And it will be also more like, uh, more stuff the game can do because i've seen like people like suggest some crazy stuff like say like i've seen like suggestions about like being able to pick up your child do this that like you have to remember the game is on roblox there, there are limits what you can really do on roblox on steam there wouldn't be really any limits to scripting and stuff you could do anything you want and you can pretty much do anything you want 
compared to Roblox where there where there are limits. <laughs> so that's pretty much Roblox PE practicing and moving from Roblox to Steam. Uh anyways, uh that's another video pretty much. Uh watch all my videos that you haven't watched cause I need to watch time and also scrub subscribe but I'll eventually um, reach 1k subscribers, which is pretty cool. We're going pretty fast. So in one year, pretty well, not one year. Okay, you get the idea. But yeah, subscribe, watch my videos. I need to watch time to make money. If I make money, I can get better, uh, like better, a better device. High quality, more high quality videos. It's all in all, it's a good thing for me and the viewers.